Car Advice team is here in mining central Mount Isa and things couldn't be better. Aston Martin is very kindly shipping their astonishing new DBS along with a V8 Vantage to a secret location literally in the middle of nowhere. One of the highlights of this epic journey was to be a fast drive from Mount Isa to Bulia, just on 300 k's. But when the man from Aston Martin inquired as to the condition of the road, locals asked him how many spare windshields he had bought and if he'd ever heard of a road train. Suffice to say, two flatbeds were called in urgently. A long four hours later, after pulling off the road too many times to remember for the five trailer road train, we finally arrived in Bulia and headed straight for the runway. It's not ever that you get handed the keys to your own private airport for some serious no holds barred drag racing. The DBS is the fastest car Aston Martin has ever built. How's 302 k's per hour sound? I've just hit 150 and this thing's pulling harder than a Mount Isa road train. 0 to 100 in 4.3 seconds spells supercar, but it's more the way the DBS puts the power down thanks to the massive wallop of torque delivered in such a linear fashion. Acceleration is constant and deliberate through all six forward gears. The DBS is essentially a road going version of Aston Martin's DBR9 GT1 race car. That's carbon fibre panels, aerodynamic aids, brake and engine cooling ducts and carbon ceramic brakes, really the whole spec. To show you just how fast this car is, we thought we'd do an old fashioned drag race against its baby brother, the V8 Vantage. The brilliant looking Vantage has a 100 kilo plus weight advantage over the Bond car. It'll put up a good fight though with its rapid sport shift box taking less time than the manual shift in the DBS. Silver DBS is the clear winner by at least a car length or more and that's with me missing third gear. Not really a fair fight though, V12 versus V8, but you'll be pleased to know the Vantage has had a major power upgrade from 4.3 to 4.7 litres and it's on its way to Australia. <laughs> Tell 
you what, this track button has literally transformed this car. So much sharper, more responsive, so much stiffer. It's an absolute track weapon. There's a ton of grip from the massive 295 specially made Pirellis down the rear. While Anthony rightfully raves on about the car's handling, I decided to switch all driver aids off and do a Clarkson. Well, we've certainly had some fun out here on the airstrip, but we need to press on to that magic location which has brought us to the edge of the Simpson Desert. This is the everyday supercar. It's hand-built, marrying some of the finest craftsmanship with highly advanced build techniques. The carbon fibre panels are painted with such precision that you cannot tell them apart from the aluminium panels on the car. In the same time it takes Aston Martin to paint the DBS, Porsche builds an entire 911. At just on 520 grand, it's pretty much a given that you will own one of the world's most exclusive cars, if you're lucky. As if Bulia, with its population of all 300 people, is not isolated enough, we're on our way to the Cornpour Hills. 160 k's from here and you've got to stay out of harm's way when it comes to the wildlife. That's roos, emus, cattle, camels and the odd livestock grid. One of the school kids told me this car is deadly. I have no idea what that means, but I think he meant it's bloody quick. No, in case you're wondering, this isn't Monument Valley, Arizona. It's the only place outside America where you'll find these flat top hills they call Mesa. Have you ever seen such beauty? It's a hand-built six-liter V12 pumping out 510 brake horsepower and 570 newton meters of torque. At this point, I was supposed to talk to you about the looks but you know what? Um, enough said. It may be considered hardcore on the outside, but it's definitely private club on the inside. The interior of the DBS represents the epitome of Aston Martin's commitment to using materials honestly without disguise or embellishment. There's lightweight materials everywhere in this car. I mean, the door pulls are made from carbon fibre and the carpet has been woven with lighter fibres to save valuable kilograms. There's little, if any, chance of another supercar ever coming out to play here in the desert. But if you do happen to pass through here at full throttle, make damn sure you bring some extra fuel to outrun the Min Min lights. <laughs> 